Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the late afternoon, being very naughty. Because it's my turn to cook tonight and I don't <laughs> I don't know if I care uh, if dinner is on time or not, but I've never used my large scoop before and instead of using my shovels, uh-oh, there I go, I got my glasses, yay! Instead of using my shovels, I'm going to use this really large scoop and I'm going to give myself a little bit of white as a catalyst to squeeze things into. And I'm going to try and stay with all my brights. I left my caps on until the last minute so that I would have a chance to not have to <laughs> stick a bamboo skewer into everything. I want all brights. I said that. I've got some new colors. I forget the name of the company who made them, but they, they are nice and bright. Put the caps back on those again so I can keep track of which is which similar to each other but not the same. A little purple here and there can't hurt anything for contrast. Use that blue and a little bit of really. There we go. That's my color shift blue that I don't know if it's re replaceable or not. And there's my mica powder gold on the Amazon link along with the um, I see that I'm tipping to a place where I'm not going to be able to continue to fill that. So what am I going to do? I am going to use something more shallow. Oop. I want some yellow in there. Where there's yellow, there's green. I didn't shake that. Those are some gorgeous colors though. What else am I going to put in there? I've got a whole bunch of these purples. I crave this Color Shift Turquoise from Folk Art. And I want to go back again. Actually, I'm just going to put some of this other color. This is not one of the new colors. They tricked me. <laughs> the bottles look like my four ounce bottles of Folk Art Color Shift, but they're not. They're only three. I was a little bummed out to say the least. I think what made all the difference in the world was that dark purple. And I still like that blue. Hopefully I'll leave a little bit of room for my gold. Can I do it? I should probably try a little more white, but um, since I'm out of space in there, I'm also out of space here, <laughs> I'm going to take my... Ooh, look, yellow. Really? Yellow and orange. <laughs> you know I'm not in control when it comes to keeping myself from having what I want as far as colors go. So, I want to do something a little different. I just filled up my white bottle, my squeeze bottle today. I have Deco Outpouring Medium Flow Control half and half mixed with my paint. Artist Loft mixed with mixed with a Walmart latex interior. And I always add enough GAC 800 with the original acrylic or original paint color to make sure that it won't crack. It's a warm day. I don't actually expect this to take a long time, but my idea of what I want to do is sort of based on what I was doing before I started this latest series. And that is part black, part, part white. I don't know how that's going to work, but I guess we'll find out in a minute. It'd be nice if that would come out a little bit faster. Just a little now. Now. A little faster. Still not coming out faster. Matter of fact, it might even be slower. I would say it's time to go in there. Really? Finally got that out, huh? Okay then. That is my OXO omelet turning spatula. And I did want a nice thick layer because I'm expecting to use this background color to flow some other things. How far down I want it to go is another question. So I'm going to go white again. I think I'm going to use the 
paint on my spatula to hit the edge right there. So I scrape my spatula off a little bit onto the canvas edge. If it's nice and thick, it might cover. Shouldn't worry too much about any naked canvas because I think it will resolve itself as a tip. That being said, I'm not good at wasting paint, so I'm just going to keep scraping that off there until most of it's gone. And then use my finger, everybody's favorite tool. I don't know why I'm trying to make that even, because I definitely don't want it to be even. Maybe it's because I can make it less even after I put the white layer in next. I don't know how this is going to be. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. I'm just going to lead that up to the edge, but not over it. Because as I tip, I will get some residuals. Take my black and put it out of the way. I can squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. The world's greatest paint spreading spatula. <laughs> Available on the Amazon link underneath the video, right up to that edge, and then let that bead encounter it as I push it over. I'm going to scrape off the rest of that paint, tap off my spatula, because I can, the name of my book on the Amazon link, I know, it's a theme. I'm so trying to make a living doing this, I can't even tell you. And it's sort of kind of working, but not really totally. So I appreciate everything you guys do for me, including watching as much of the videos as possible. That really helps me out. That and giving me a thumbs up. So if you're in a gen generous mood, that helps my placement on YouTube for my videos. Watch as much of the videos as possible and give me a thumbs up. I love you. <laughs> I appreciate you guys like you wouldn't believe. Without you, I would not be painting for an attempted living. I don't know what I'd be doing. This is a hard place to sell art in Spring Hill. But I do give lessons in Spring Hill. And we have a couple of those go on a month. Here goes nothing. Oh boy. Let's go from the middle. I wanted brights. I want white space. I want to scrape that out. No, I'm not even really looking at what I'm doing. And I am going to be looking for an edge catcher in a second. Put my tools into my bucket. So I, I definitely recommend everybody has a bucket in their studio. I see I got little spaces. I'm going to steal some of that paint. Push it right over there. And you push it all kinds of places. All right, so I'm gonna let that run that way a little bit first. And then I'm gonna let it come down the other way. As soon as I find an edge catcher, what did I do with all of my great edge catchers? Okay, well, I guess I've got a big one. And I'll just turn this around. And I'm going to let all that paint, I kind of wish I'd let it run sideways a little bit, but I'm going to let it pool. I'm going to let it all go to the bottom. I'm not so sure about the black in the center. Maybe it should have been at the bottom. All right, I'm going to let all of that run back again. Well, at least some of it run back again. I think I found my other edge catcher. It's buried. So I've got tools like my basting brush. And I have an intention to use them. Because I like to play. I kind of want to pull some chain through some other things, but I'm going to keep 
using my basting brush to cover up some and blend in that black in the center. I don't know how much I want to mess with it because I really like what I see that's going on down here. Some chain. Try not to make be too awful distracted. And maybe, just maybe, a little skewer action. As long as I've got that white paint up there, I can make an adjustment. Definitely going to need that. I'm going to let my, my chain get residual paint off on my studio rag. some white paint on here. I think that spot was just aching for something to happen to it. Gotta be fun, even if it's not perfectly what I want. Lots of times I feel like things are not perfect and then I change my mind. I have to be ready. Fall in love with what you get. Just using my chain to, to fill in a little few blanks. Got my skewer. I can drag things up through. Still a little paint. Maybe I can, maybe I can't. Things are not looking as colorful as I was hoping they would. Up above. Not so sure about that. So I will do something about it. I didn't use very much green, and I really could add some and be pretty happy about it. I want something bigger than that. I'm not sure what to use. It has enough paint color on it. Do I have any paint left anywhere? Yes, somewhere. I know I do. Okay. No, I don't. I didn't save it. It's in the bucket. That's one of my little caps. So that's all right. And that's kind of fun. I think I really want some green, to tell you the truth. I think the green is going to be a big help to me.
Just touching that basing brush right in there. I think that's a good idea, actually. To create some funky textures. Yes, I like it. I'm going to clean it off before I get even more funky te textures than I'm interested in having. <laughs> Weedy plants. I want some purple. <laughs> I just do. I just got to have it. Can I have it? Please? I got more purple than I was bargaining for. Oh well. That's okay. I want... <laughs> I want a small scoop that I can add some dots to. I really want some blue. Some of that color shift blue would be great. I think it would be nice if anything would come out so I've got a couple minutes left to tell you guys whatever I'm going to tell you. Which is that uh, I have Teespring clothing below the video. I have a book on Amazon called Because I Can. It's both in paperback and as an ebook. I have a paint pouring recipe below the video. It tells you what I put in my fluid acrylics to make them flow nicely. I have PayPal and Patreon, so if you decide you'd like to contribute to help the studio keep going, you'll be involved in a contest for March that the drawing will be held in April, and there's a choice of, I believe, seven, seven different artworks there. often do this at the last minute. I'm actually not minding most of that. So it's definitely alien plant life, but okay, never mind. I'm having a good time. I recommend it. The good time part, that is. And, um... I hope to see you guys again in another video. I think I'm going to call this one good. Just put a few more funky shapes in there. I'll call that a bud. If I can get some more paint in there. Yes, bud leaf. Kind of like some orange in there, actually. Maybe a few more vertical lines. Not sure how I feel about the black in the center. Not hating it either though. So where's my crib sheet just in case I forgot something. I do sell my artwork and I do give classes at the house. And I do like that green line but I want some more of it. Gotta get a little outrageous. Change it up some. I think this is good. I like it now. I didn't wasn't sure for a little bit.